another episode of The Elite Show with our often guest, Michael Dowd, and of course, John Elite. So today's episode is going to be on Italy and the Albanian Mafia. So my first question to you, John, is how far do you go back in the Albanian culture? Well, first, let me say we're not exactly angels, like I always say, the beginning of our show. Um, you know, the Albanian culture goes back, uh, you know, when people talk about America and, and what the Albanians are doing here in the United States, they don't understand the culture of uh, the, the Italian mafia and the Albanian and the interaction uh, between uh, both organizations. And the Albanian organization has tentacles from country to country. So when people ask me when I'm flying from country to country, how do I know so many people? In Europe, the Albanians uh, stretch out from the UK, uh, Albania, Greece, uh, Belgium, uh, Switzerland. Uh, there's big uh, factions of Albania, Germany. So it's uh, you know obviously the friendships and the clans and and the uh, it works a little different than the Italian mafia. So it's more like a crossroads. You like the crossroads. The Albanians are almost yeah. like Constantinople was the crossroads for Christianity. Am I? Yeah, you're am right. I making you're actually, sense? You are making sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because and that's where a lot of them, the re- people are laughing in the studio at me. But the, uh, that's where a lot of civilizations, no, I get it. civilizations, crossroads. Mm-hmm. Plus, you have a very uh, distinct uh, Muslim population yeah. and Christian population yeah. in, in your country, right? Yeah, we do. Just, you know, we're probably one of the least countries that fight or go to war over religion. Yeah. So you have a big population of Muslims, like my family is a lot of Muslims, and some of my family are Christian. So, you know, depending on, uh, you know, how they were raised or where they were raised, but one thing, they, they don't fight over religion. That's something. Right? Now, when you, were in a, when you were a cop in the street, right. were you more afraid of the Albanians or the Italians? The Albanians. For sure, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, because the Italians were afraid of the Albanians, and that's just what, you know, just the facts. Well, well, yeah. what do you what do you think makes you guys so much more feared than the Irish mafia, the Italian? Oh, well, well, easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was the Irish mob less feared? <laughs> I think they were just they used pens. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish mob used pens. What? They were the police, yeah. and they were union bosses. Am I, uh, Johnny? Am I wrong? He's hitting some some <laughs> they good points too there. Much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a that's a different mob. But, <laughs> <laughs> So here, here's, I don't believe, I don't think, uh, it's like anything else. When a culture comes here and, and migrates here, when the Italians did, they were very violent at the beginning because they were hungry. Right. And it's like any country, the Albanians are very hungry. When they first came here, they're very hungry. So they're very aggressive. Right. And so our culture is a little different than the Italian mafia. The Italian mafia is an organization, not of family members, or maybe some, you know, a couple brothers and cousins, and, but not overall. It's not based on family, meaning real family, like your brother and your father and your uncle. The Albanian culture and, and the, uh, in the mob is it's all clans of family members. So it's very hard to uh, infiltrate, for law enforcement to infiltrate the Albanian mafia in Europe because of what I just said, that family members, clan members, and some families are, are, are fairly large with 100 different relatives that are running an organization together. They're a big family that makes them very strong, very loyal to each other, and we have something that's called Bessa. So Bessa is the honor of uh, not dis- not dishonoring your, your 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 name, your surname, your last name. So and Johnny, it- let me ask you a question, if you don't mind. How does that work with being an organized criminal, that you're not dishonoring your family's name? But just a question I ask. Like, so the, they're very, very proud of their family name. Exactly. But would you be a damn good criminal then? I mean, how's that? Yeah, because you take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. You, well, am I telling you something? Yeah, listen, you're not going to shoot me right now. No, yeah. <laughs> enough, enough. Whether you agree with the life or not, okay. right? Whether you agree with the life or not, you believe in honoring your family name in that life, okay. right? Okay. So, that's see, that's the difference. I mean, right. you see the flag. Most Albanians, like myself, have the flag somewhere on them. Somewhere. I have it several times on my body. Right. You know, we're very proud people, very proud I know country. That. I know that. Uh, we were a country that struggled yes. through communism and, and suppression through the Ottoman days. And yes. So, you know, people think that the, our culture is very different from the Italian culture, and there's not a closest. That's the furthest thing from the truth. The Albanian mob guys 
and the Albanian mafia and the Italian mafia actually work together in Europe. They're very close with each other. There's, you know, Calabria is is full of Albanians. It's I don't know what the percentage is, but it's, I mean, a big, big percentage of, of Calabria is Albanian. And most of my cousins, they live in Barry, they live in Calabria, they live all over Europe. Well, you know, friends, and uh, they they interact with the Italian mob, and they all speak Italian. And didn't they first start getting together over tobacco? Like, that's how the Albanians, the Albanian mafia and the Italian mafia, that that's how they first kind of came together in the 70s was over tobacco? Well, they, well, they interact. They, listen, the cultures are very similar. I mean, completely. That whole region... Uh, where, wherever you're from in that region is, you know, you, you go from, it's a, it's a stone throw away from Albania. If you take the ferry from Florida, which is in Albania, and you take it across the waters, you're going right into Barry. So it's, it's not like what people think, that it's, it's a distance, it's not. It's right there. So the interaction between families, crews, clans, they work together in the drug business, they work together in, in the gambling business, sports business, uh, they work together in the money business, trades, uh, illegal swag, uh, violence, violence, and the Albanians are known to do a lot of work. Uh, you know, violence, and you know, and the biggest thing in in Europe, it's a little different than here. Like any any drug uh, business, you got to control the ports, and the Albanians happen to, to control a lot of ports throughout the world. Yeah, you control the ports, you control everything. And you know, so when people are saying. Uh, when you go into, you know, when I'm, I frequent Italy a lot, right? So I'm in Italy, I'm in Greece, I'm in Albania, I'm in Turkey, uh, you know, and I, I do a lot of traveling. So the furthest thing from the truth is uh, we're like cousins to each other. We have similar backgrounds, we have similar uh, understanding of the street and, about, and of our families and culture. So, you know, when a lot of people ask me about, you know, the American mafia and uh, the Albanians here in the United States, What's, what's the difference? I said the difference is a lot of the Americans here in the mafia or in the street or just everyday people, they really don't understand the mentality of Europe. It's a completely different mentality. And these guys that I talk about here, they're involved in American mafia. Guys like I made a comment the other day about Sammy Gravano. He can't say a word in Italian. He never been to Italy. I don't believe him. Unless when he was a kid, he was there once. Uh, maybe when he was in the army or something. He was. I saw he was down in... Uh... <laughs> Down in Play Disneyland, they have a, they have Italy, they have China. You can go anywhere you want. I can go in, to China. In, yeah, in Disney, you go right oh, down to Florida. We're not far. We can go to China. Go to yeah, Orlando. Yeah. They have every one of those nations that you speak. Yeah. Of. I'm going this week, by the way. I'll see you. I'll see you in Disney. Maybe we'll come with. I'll you. see you in Disneyland. So <laughs> they, then you get a chance to talk to China. Yeah. So you know, even, ah. it, even the American, you know, attitude towards the, uh, you know, they they call a lot of the Italian mafia guys from. Italy on the other side, they call them zips, zips, which is an insult to the to, to the Italians. Mustache Pete's. Yeah, mustache Pete's from before. <laughs> well, well, for people that don't know, a zip is somebody that the Italian mafia brings over to basically yeah. kill somebody. Yeah, yeah but because they, they kill them a, and they get. But it becomes a, became a nomenclature. Yeah. But it's, it, God. Well, they you know they use terminologies here. I don't think they meet them at meeting offensively towards. You know some of the guys that come from overseas. Now I understand it's offensive when you call somebody a greaseball. Right. right? They say it here, and I, they don't really mean it that way. But it, but it's taken that way, in in Europe, and they don't understand the again. They don't understand the difference between when they come from the other side. They have a different understanding about family values to criminal values. When they come to America from the other side, they don't get along, or, or a lot of them don't get along with CIA. To CIA. I die with some of the organizations here because of the way they carry themselves, because they're very loud, they're very boisterous, and they have a different mentality. And how would you compare the Albanian mafia in Albania to here in the United States? You know, again, when you're in Europe, you have a completely different mentality, but the difference is Albanians have the understanding of traveling from country to country. So even if you're not educated, school educated, you're educated throughout the world. So you're worldly. You're, you're worldly. worldly. And and something that's a, a, you know something that's key in Europe is most people Albanians it doesn't matter the culture they speak several languages three four five six it's not right. unusual. Right. Wow. You know, know. So my friend you know Klaus that we just did the film with he speaks several languages from he's Danish he speaks German so he speaks uh, Portuguese he speaks English obviously we're, we're very friendly. 
So he speaks about five languages. So you know, this is, you know, a customary thing in Europe, and the, you know they pick up languages very fast. So you know, so in the states, they're lucky they can speak English well. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny, can I ask? Sure. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. So, what gave the strength? Like, what was their main? See, everybody needs money, right? We all. Yeah. We, what was the money? Was it was it was it the poppy from 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 uh, um, I guess you would say Af Afghanistan and, and that region coming through? I mean, or was it just regular swag? I mean, you know. No, Albanians probably control forty to fifty percent of the heroin trade through Australia, through Damn. the United States, and through the Middle East. So you know, they they control a big market. And, uh, so did, I, that, did that start back in the days when they were locking up the Gambino brothers for bringing in wine bottles filled with heroin? I mean, is that... Well, you're talking about back when they had the, the pizza connection case. Yeah, that whole, yeah. That, was the Albanians involved back then? The Albanians, yeah. The Albanians, again, they have a good relationship. So it's 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 not a warring relationship with a culture. It's a commodity. Uh, it, it's it, a commodity. They work together because everybody wants to make money together. Right. The violence is on the Albanian end. You know, they were a violent co culture. And because you've been fighting for how many thousand years? Well, and we're a proud culture. Right. So the mistake somebody could make with an Albanian is, if you slap him, he'll stab you. If you stab him, he'll shoot you. If you kill him, they'll kill two of you. Right. This is the, our culture. Right. So, you know, there's no, like, this is not going to end. It's going to continue. So if you kill five, we'll kill ten. Right. And, you know, anybody that understands the Albanian culture understands this. So when you make a mistake... And you take kindness or weakness when Albanians, is they're not going to go. It's not You're going to pay well. for it. Yeah, it's, and and they're not a huge organization like a criminal family, say the you know the Genovese family. The Albanian organization doesn't work the same. It works in small clans right. that work together with other clans, and some of the clans are you know like I said could be a, a very huge family of a hundred people, fifty people, but the difference is they're very loyal to right. each other. There is no turning against each other. So when somebody has a problem, everybody gets together. Whether you're the at the top, the the little guy, it doesn't matter. Everybody comes together. Well, when you hear of, and, and and I think he got it on the, on a the feed you could put up about the Kimura. So you know they get together, and you know you have, you know if you read it with the, what it says about the Kimura, the Kimura is really run and based mainly with the Albanians. Okay. Yeah. And and you know you can if you can read somewhere in there, yeah, skim it real quick. Rob? It's it's a clan. You know it's run by clans. The Kimo which the so Kimo is an Italian mafia style. Sorry, mafia it, style criminal organization and criminal society originating in the region of Campania. It is one of the oldest and largest criminal organizations in Italy. The Camorra is. Oh, that's I just read that. Oh my God, where am I here? Uh, Kumar's organizational structure is divided into individual groups, also called clans. Yeah, you can leave it at that. Right. That's yep. good, Rob. Yep. Yeah. So, w w what, the structure is originally based, they say, but it's really it's it's run by Albanians now, and that's really who controls that, alongside with with the, with the Italians. But that's an Albanian organization we ran, and it's ran through what, what I said. So, earlier. if they wanted to do something in an Albania. They want something to happen. They don't have to go to a John Gotti boss. They go to a local guy in charge of his local clan. Exactly. And he doesn't have to check with some guy. 13 you know, different yeah, like, people to get Like Philly's got to call New York. New York's got to check in with Vegas. Chicago calls back to New York. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, okay, you can kill a guy. Is that right? Exactly. But not in this case. They just made it. There was just a, a situation. You streamlined it. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. streamlined, hey, right. streamlined so, it all there. Hey, 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 you, like hey, you want to whack somebody? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just, just one talk. Hold on. Just one talk. <laughs> no conversation. I like it. Just one talk. Well, Here's well, a ladder. Well, Johnny, you... <laughs> well, you know, it, it, something's <laughs> worked, you know, it's, it's worked a little different in, in uh, Europe again. So say you're going to, you're gonna, me and you are going to uh, get involved with a major drug deal, and I don't trust you to that extent. I would tell you, Tommy, you're involved with the Italian mafia, you know, we're friendly, uh, give me two of your guys. They're going to stay with us in Albania for one month, two months while we pull this deal. And they stay with us. And if that deal doesn't go right, you just gave us two bodies and we're going to, and we use them as basically a ransom yeah. to make sure that the deal goes through the way it was supposed to without us getting robbed or beat. And that's the trust value. And the Italians on the other side, uh, their trust value is here. His two family members, you got them. When the deal's done, it's, you know, we'll, you'll give them back. And then what would you say is the biggest difference between the Italian mafia here, La Cosa Nostra here, and then the real mafia in Italy? I think they just talk too much here. 
<laughs> Good answer. You know, so you have a you have a sitting on the balls and in the past, and we're going to use Sammy Gravano. He likes to believe the people to believe he's killed nineteen people when he killed one and one child. There's the difference. Who's the child? In Albania, so a fifteen year old kid that not he the killed. bagel store guy. No, no, he was a kid that witnessed uh, something, and you know, and he shot him. Uh -huh. So that, that's, that's that, disgusting. That, yeah, it's and and this is not you know the, you know so when these guys are building up an image of bullshit, and don't take my word for it, as John Gotti, if he could talk still, you know, so he's built up an image of bullshit. This is you know the selling point. They're not respected then because of the way they handle themselves, the way they handle business, but on the Albanian side of Cosa Nostra in Europe, they have a different understanding. They don't talk. If you do something, they're known for extreme violence. To, if you do something to a family member, if you do something on a business end that, that's not correct, uh, the violence won't still. And it's not like here. You know, a lot of organizations are just stuck in their areas or in their country. Albanians, are, like I said, have tentacles around the world. You can go to any country and name it, and you'll have a, a population of Albanians there. And I mean a large population that will control those areas. And if it's 60% another culture, and there's only 20% Albanians, they'll still control that, that situation because they control every other country getting to that country. And there's, and there's no way to stop that kind of organization because it's what Mike said, there is no organization you gotta go through 200 people before you got, if you want to do something. You do it within each other, within your own organization of a clan, of a family, it's, you know, which it's, strengthens them. That's, that sounds like, uh, there's only like 2% of the people that are into this Antifa thing here. I, I, yeah. I hate the fucking diversion. To, but, and they have so much power because they intimidate. They yeah. threaten, they're willing to do it, you know, because they're all those purple head, you know, people in the fucking basement somewhere, and they don't care because they, yeah. they got nothing to lose. Yeah. When you, ha when you have nothing to lose, you're a dangerous human being. You put 10 of them together. Now, I'm not yeah, saying the Albanian guys. It's a real guys, dangerous guys, Yeah, I'm not saying the Albanian guys. But they have, I, I, I get the impression that they don't care if they lose it. I don't mean family and friends, but, like, they know how to live with nothing. Right. Am I wrong, Johnny? Like, yeah, well, you know, we know how to, you know, my you, you, heritage, heritage, my people. Yeah. We have extreme tempers. Every, you know, Albanian is very hot-headed. If you disrespect them, right? But they're also very warm, and they're known for their good hearts. But the problem is, a lot of times in, with people, when you show your heart, yeah, well, they take advantage. No, that's of it. in every culture. And then when that's you do that culture. with Albanians, yeah. they're very violent. Yeah, right. So, and the belief that they're they're, they're disrespectful to the uh, Italian culture is not true at all. We love the Italian culture, right? And the Albanians uh, look at them like I said, like family and cousins, and understand that. And they speak, the, the, the Albanians speak the Italian language. Everybody speaks uh, Italian. So it's a very close-knit friendship and, and business uh, relationship. It's unlike what it is here in the United States. It's completely different. So the, the, the guys or the gangsters from the street here that think that Albanians don't have pull in organized crime around the world yeah. are, are far mistaken. And if they think they don't have pull within the mafia, they're far mistaken because the Albanians are doing most of the work with the with the Italians in in Europe. Now, like I know in Italy, the the police is paid off. The mafia owns the police, so you can get away with murder over there. Literally, is it the same way in Albania? I mean, are are the police completely paid off, owned by the Albanian mafia? No, it's not. They're not paid off like that, like you're saying. I mean, years ago maybe it was different, but. You know, you got to remember in Europe it's a little different, and people fear for their lives a little, a little differently than here. So you know, it's not uh, the cultures are different. So you know, if a police officer disrespects somebody on the street, they would have to worry about serious consequences behind it. Now, for a regular citizen, they might get away with it, but if they if they run into the wrong street guy, they understand the consequences. And the back of any police uh, policeman's mind is he understands the. Uh, the the uh, retaliation of a dis again, you know, Albanian people and but the uh, the police officers also understand respect because they're Albanian. They're all part of the so culture. The, yeah, they're part yeah. of the culture, so yeah. they understand they better watch who they're disrespecting. Right. Uh, because it's not going to end right there like that. 
You know, they're not going to let you disrespect the family name. Yeah, well, the same thing went no, like that when I was a cop in the street. We didn't disrespect guys that were wise guys or families. At first, we we shouldn't. No one should be disrespecting anybody. Let's, yeah. I mean, for for real. I mean, and 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 if, and if uh, I, when I was a cop and I worked in so many Italian borderline uh, communities where you know there was, the, 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 where they were shooting off the fireworks for John Gotti's crew over there on the. By Liberty Avenue, it was, yeah, we were on 101st uh, Avenue. Yeah, yeah, right, 101st Avenue, and and there would be a flanks of cops there, and the cops were like, "Why do we got to stand up against this guy? He's <laughs> yeah. good to us." And he was, right. he was good to the cops, you know. And I mean, he owned the 102 precinct, I think. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. half the detectives in there worked for him for yeah. Christ's sakes. I mean, I know because I I tuned up a guy. Uh, <laughs> I I tuned up one of you, Johnny, one of your friends. In fact, I, yeah. I don't know if I should talk about this on the show. <laughs> we might be better off saving it for another one. <laughs> Save it for the next. Save it for but another one. Yeah, yeah, you know the guys. I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the one hundred and two precinct work for this guy. Phone calls are made. Oh, you know, it's like oh, you know. So really, there's always an awareness yeah. of um, I don't know, the interactions between uh, civilians and in this case, wise guys and and the police. Right. And what would you say that the Albanian people in general, not the mafia, just Albanians? What do you think you guys are most known for? Uh, loving our country. I mean, you, you know. We love being Albanian. I love being Albanian. Everybody knows that. I I don't stop oh, I talking. Know. You don't. And, and, and I, I, love, I mean that in a good way. Yeah. yeah. I You know, I'm very proud to be Albanian. I love my blood going through my is that is Albanian. I love our flag. I think most Albanians are very proud of our flag. And, we're, you know, the same as the way I talk about the United States government. And I love the United States and I love our flag. And I, I can't stand that we don't have patriots that are involved in this country, whether you're a ball player, whether you're a movie star, whoever, whoever you are to, to talk down against this country, if you feel that way, get out of this country. Right. Uh, the way I feel about Albania and the United States, I fly those two flags. I'm in Kosovo all the time. I fly these flags. The third flag is, you know, it's all Albanian. Kosovo is in, so I fly these flags and I love Kosovo. I love Albania. I love the United States. I will never disrespect these flags, yet, these people in the United States dis disrespect their flag. If they got, if they had to learn anything, they should learn in our culture how we re we love our our flags and we love our people. So I think that's the biggest thing I could say about Albanian female, male, everybody, kids. Uh, no matter how hard our lives were, and the, you know the suppression over the years, we never we never disgrace our flag. Now, as an Albanian who's traveled everywhere, um, what would you say? The Italian mafia is most known for, or Italians. Well, what would you, you know, you you were around them half your life. What would you say that they're most known for? Uh, you know, when I'm in family values, family values, the closer the family, their kids, their good, you know, and and in Albania and, and in Italy and in Europe, a lot of Italy, they don't disrespect their elders like they do here, and they're known for, you know, obviously style and food and and culture. I mean, the difference I think is. A lot of people in Europe really love their cultures, and they don't forget it. I think this country is so spoiled that people forget to love our flag and show respect for our veterans and show our respect for the people that risk their lives so we can have this. In our cultures, in Albania and Italy, you never, you never see that. You see people so proud of who they are. And I think that in the States, that's why I said there's so much change that to be done, and I blame a lot of this on the leaders that we voted in and we need to start voting them out and kicking them out when they disrespect this country. And if they don't like it, I always say the same thing. Go to CCP, go to yeah, go, go to Cuba, if that's where you want to go, where you're getting told what time to eat. And just like Scarface said, Tony Montana, <laughs> what, you know, you want to be a sheep? Go ahead, bah, right? <laughs> go, go, go to Venezuela. But when you don't respect that flag and carry it, and post it the way we do for our country and for the way I do for this country, then they should be ashamed of themselves and a disgrace to this country or the disgrace to their flag. You won't see that in Italy over there. You won't see that in Albania there. Yeah. And you know, that's why I love both of those con countries, you know. And here's my last question for you. So when you compare the United States government and the way it is, compare that to the way the government is in Albania. Like here, at the moment, we have upper class, middle class, lower class, poverty. What's it like in Albania? Well, you know, what Albania is is a lot of poverty. I mean, and one of and one of the things I, is you learn one thing in Albania, and I go there. You know that I was just there a couple of months. Yeah. 
I go there several times a year. I go there once a year. I go there to see my, you know, I got a big family there in the, all over Italy, all over Albania. So when I go there, uh, you know, I, I learn one thing, that the people there, are, are the matter, money's not important. Money doesn't rule our lives. It's uh, family and uh, being proud of who you are, who you, who, what your culture is, what your blood is. So when you see me with Scandal Bayo, who's you know a war hero to us, uh, you know with him on my body, or when you see the king's crown with the word Albania underneath my chest, under my heart, it's there under my heart for a reason because it's my heart. When you see the word Shipa in my arm, meaning brother, when you see the flag on my wrist and you see the flag on my back, this is a respect for my from for my country, my heritage, for my grandfather, my uncles, and my cousins, and everybody else that were raised there suffering through different times and communism and we still surface to the top we're fighters we're warriors That's right. and we're proud and in the united states the same thing for our people and our family members and our friends that were veterans that fought for this country the only difference is when people don't salute our flag i think if you did that in front of an albanian about an albanian flag they'll oh, kill you yeah bro. so they're getting away with it here what they don't get yeah, away yeah, with that yeah. i would dare them to do that to our flag in Albania yeah. with anybody standing Good luck. there yeah. and see what they'll rip you, they'll rip you apart. Yeah. What do you? What, what, so, so the question I have at this point, in, yeah, as a commentator interviewer here, <laughs> what's what's Mr. Christmas, Mike the commentator? What's Christmas like? Listen, what's <laughs> Christmas like in a half Muslim, right? Half Muslim, half because I'm. Because I'm faced with that now. Yeah. I have my sons married to a Muslim girl. Well, they they, they still, uh, you know, a lot of Albanians, Muslim or not, celebrate it in a different manner or they celebrate it as Christmas. We don't really practice religion the way they do. I mean, my Muslim part of my family does. They're okay. very, like my cousin entity is very Muslim. And he buys by, the, he's a true Muslim. Okay. And... Uh, he's not flying planes or anything. Out of no, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's I'm, very peaceful. I'm kidding. I know you can. <laughs> and and we joke. You know, we did talk about that the other day about okay. you know people have a misconception right. when they hear right. Muslims. Listen, my, my they're Muslim peaceful, loving Muslim people. Right. right. I know that. my buildings either. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. I, I know you. We gotta make sure we say that. Yeah, I know. I have to clear up. The, yeah. Room, well, whatever Mike says, <laughs> don't take personally. Yeah. No, I mean I love seriously. everybody. I got I, my family is is everything in my family. You you name the culture, it's in my family, yeah. and I love everyone equally. Usually, depending upon who's playing. <laughs> <laughs> but Christmas, Johnny. Christmas, they celebrate a lot of you know, a lot of the most. No, but the, the, the gatherings. How is it? Is it, is, well, is, is it you a know, big one? Is it a small one? I know no, you went away. Listen, I know you went away for a long time. Yeah, my family's not big here. I don't have a big family, but in Albania, it's huge. So I have several. You know, I got family members in Giocastra. It's near Saranda, and I have family members. I, but I'm trying to in get Florida. invited to Christmas dinner. All right, I'm trying yeah, to get invited. If you come there and you don't wave our flag, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be coming I home. Won't be. <laughs> I got your flag. You on my one, 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 now, Mike, one flag here. The bigger of a question flag. is, what do you guys eat when you celebrate? What, when you celebrate, get to it. Uh, he's saying Christmas. <laughs> yeah. When you have a celebration on a holiday, like Christmas, we yeah. ham, whatever. What, what I love eat? traditional Albanian food, so it depends on you know on a household we eat. But we eat a lot of lamb. We have a lot of chicken. A lot obviously. of lamb. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's different Albanian dishes. You know that you know. People like it depends on what they like. You eat that Russian yeah. fish that's all hard and shit. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't like it. I'm asking you. Know, no. you know what I'm talking but, about. But you know, seafood is huge in Albania. Tony, it's, it's a dried out. Fish I've never seen a guy eat more lambs in my life. Oh yeah, they, they, yeah. He was full Albanian. Yeah, okay. can barely speak English. Uh, you make nice a nice food. gravy with the uh, uh, lamb with some nice gravy. Uh, Look, I hated lambs until yeah, I started hanging right, out with him. Yeah. He had some fucking sauce. Yeah, yeah. That's and and I'd nice. ask him a hundred times. It's a Tony, well, you got to you got to come there and have like we have chuff tests, and the only thing like chuff tests you can, it's uh, it's uh, you know ground ground meat, and it's 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 great. You know you you're gonna okay. you're gonna have to taste it to see it, you acquire a taste, but I guess it's. Kind of like a burger here, but better. You know, it's got it's more taste. It's better. Uh, I know. love that. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. It, but when I would go to his house, it didn't matter if it was lunch, breakfast, dinner. Everybody sat at the table, and I mean, we were older. You yeah. know, I mean, we're twenty five, thirty years old, or right. twenty five, twenty six. And his father would walk out with a cigar, two o'clock in the afternoon, glass of uh, whiskey. You boys better finish that plate. Yeah. And he wasn't. Effing around. Well, no, because you don't want you to waste food because they're, 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 they they don't believe in waste because That's of the same. suffering. That's but I, I'll right. invite you for for uh, for uh, Albanian breakfast, uh, petalas. It's kind of like uh, 
a pancake, I guess, but better too. <laughs> I, I, I say better. I, I love um, traditional <laughs> food. Right. Anybody knows when That's I go right. there. I, you know, I have beedek, mekumish, mediat. It's, it's uh, again, it's like a pie kind of, you have but it with better. spinach. <laughs> but, but better. better. Ah, ah, Next thing you know, always we're, better. We're gonna I have, knew it. We're going to have know. stoves here and this everything. This is what I was and getting our, at. And our women are beautiful. Yeah, better. And, and better. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. All right, John. All right. I love Mike. our culture. And here's for the Albanians out there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Double-headed eagle for anybody, yeah, you, you guys know, that don't yeah, know. Ah, we know. Yeah. We've seen it on all your pages. The Dua Albania, the Dua. All right, another great episode of The Elite Show. Right, guys. New York City.